she was my first coach and she coached fourth graders and I was a second grader and she brought me up. My teammates were always laughing because just, she was always like, wearing high heels and every time she's all trying to be mad at us and like she was stomping on the floor and it's her high heels. Oh, how I'm always stepping on her toes when we get down to church. <laughs> no matter, she would move her toes out of the way on purpose. I would step on them and I would go and step on them. <laughs> she didn't put her own broken nails because of me. Huh? Even when you're getting in the church, she'd yell at you. Don't step on my toes, kid. <laughs> I don't understand why that was a problem. Like, why did I always step on her toes? <laughs> and I feel like she was always in high heels or, or flip flops and <laughs> Along the way, she would sing to her baby sister, Candace, and having her join in in her singing. <laughs> The sweetest memory I have of her, it was my birthday and she was taking me back to my mom and she gave me money to buy fish. Oh, he's throwing you a kiss and you're not... Oh, I got it. I got it on video. You keep turning when I took a picture. Give me that kiss. Oh, oh <laughs> now you turn. She loved that kid like no tomorrow. She was his Nina and she was just so proud of him because... Little Zach is so smart. You know, he gets his smarts from his mama and his daddy. And and not only is he so smart, but he's so mature and and brave and, and has a lot of common sense. And she just, she used to love to tell him, you better stop growing. And he used to love to tell, I'm growing, Nina, I'm growing, Nina. Just so that she would run after him and say, you better not be growing, you can't be growing, you have to stay little. And that was their little thing every time they would see each other. I just miss her when I say I like grow another year older, she used to say. I'm kind of sad that you're growing up. She never left him. It was a year that she was in Afghanistan and she never was able to send him something but the minute that she was back. And she said, but I haven't given him for, his, for Christmas, for his last birthday. So this is like for three, four gifts at once. So I'm gonna buy it to him, I'm gonna send it. And she did. She sent him, I think it was a, a pitching machine. Jobs. <laughs> Uncle Jobs? Yeah. Oh goodness, do you have a name for anybody else? Yeah. Who else? Ainge. Auntie Ainge? <laughs> and who else? Can. Auntie Can? And what about Nina, you have a na name for Nina? Nina. Neen? <laughs> she got her neen? Yeah. Instead, she went to play for four hours. Baseball, tag, and just whatever Zachary wanted. Zachary is four years old. Today is May 16th, 2019.
2011. her out of the basketball team. It failed. The team broke. The monotony was broken. And they lost a true friend, companion, but she was strong. <clears throat> she found other ways to, to keep up her spirit. She started working at Hachas. Gloria and Hodge were so good to her. And she started her college courses. And she met Flavio. And he was a good back support for her. He stood by her. And she went about her journey. Those that were true friends stay true. She went on to work at Wells Fargo. She made new friends. She met Renee and they made good memories. We met in, I think it was 2008. We were both um, going to school. I do, I remember um, I was actually working graveyard at the hospital. I would go to class in like long shorts and t-shirts, you know, because I'd go to work and then go exercise and um, here comes Vanessa with her high heels and, you know, all dressed up and everything and I remember uh, she sat next to me and we just had a lot in common. I don't know, we just became good friends from that point on and we would just go out to eat lunch and just talk about school and boyfriends and <laughs> I still remember one time we went and uh, she took me, went to go wax my eyebrows, and the lady took like half my eyebrows off, and <laughs> I was panicking, and she said, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. I don't know, we just, we always had a good time together. We had so much in common, and we just would laugh and sing old country songs. She was the perfect friend, <laughs> actually. Um, I think her and I had gone through like similar things back in high school. At that time, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was really hesitant to like let somebody in and like trust someone, and I don't know, there was just something about her. Like, she was just very genuine from the very beginning. And I just, I don't know, I just felt like a connection with her on a deeper level, like a, a genuine friendship. And she never, ever once judged me. She never, you know, she told me how it was. Like, she was like, she wouldn't beat around the bush. You know, she would tell me, Renee, I think you should do this and do that. And I never questioned her advice. I always, you know, hard times, good times, she always just pointed me in the right direction. Your mom, after she passed, had told me she just took a liking to you, you know, she just trusted you and that was something that she had a hard time doing after what she went through. And it was crazy because our experiences were very, very similar, so we talked about it and and even with those certain people and other people that I would encounter that I would get so angry with or just, you know, I would get like th those bitter feelings, you know, Vanessa would always tell me 
pray for them. Pray for them, Renee. And I'm like, I remember telling her, I don't think any amount of prayer can help those people. Vanessa, I would get like frustrated, you know, and then uh, to this day, to this day, when I get frustrated and angry with people, I hear her in the back of my mind. Pray for her. Pray for him. And that's what I do. Okay. We only have one shot. I'm dying. Wait, my hair. I'm dying here. Literally. Okay, let me see. When you hear the ding, that means I'm recording, okay? Wait like three seconds before you say anything. What are you playing, Dominic? It's your love. You play right. And I remember it was so funny. She would call me on Sundays and she'd be like, how was mass? Did you go to mass? What was the sermon about? So, you know, I'm sitting in church and I know that I'm like, I have to pay attention. I have to know what's going on because Vanessa's going to ask me, <laughs> you know, but I truly feel like she led me back, you know, into church. Just the perfect friend. I'll never, ever, ever have a friend like her again.